I just can't get over how huge this megalodon is. Yeah, it's just like... giant. It's the biggest thing I think we've ever seen underwater here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You've been really wild today. Yes, you have. Oh, I already have enough on my plate, you know. So you could behave yourself? Okay. Maybe if I find Park Ranger Aaron and LB, they could help. Park Ranger Aaron! Park Ranger LB? Biggest underwater sea creature we've ever seen, huh? Yeah! This is really cool, huh? Tyson! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, wow. oh hey, oh, guys! Look who it is! It's Safari Sarah and Tyson! Tyson. Hey, guys! Oh, man, good to see us! <laughs> Safari Sarah? How are y'all doing today? Oh, we're doing good. How about you? You excited uh, about the new exhibit? Are we? Oh, my gosh. We are so thrilled about our premiere show of Ancient Ocean! Oh, yeah, man, it's so cool. And Tyson, are you excited with all these dinosaurs here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tyson's even got a play toy there, I noticed. Yeah, see, this toy has been oh. a necessity today because uh -oh. Tyson has been a real handful, uh -oh, you guys. Uh-oh, Tyson. Oh, yes, Tyson. Tyson. Yeah, I have a lot of work to do with our opening of Ancient Oceans, and this is kind of helping me distract uh, him. That's a good idea there, yeah. Tyson, you got to stay out of trouble now, Wait, okay? you guys. What if y'all watch Tyson for me so I could get my work done? Oh. Do you think that would work? Yes, yeah. yes you. Oh, wow. We're so Ooh. honored, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You look great. You hold the toy, and I think I can hold Tyson. Okay, That's a very Tyson. good idea. Come on here in here, yeah. Tyson. Whoa, whoa, look out, look out. Yeah, oh, there boy. we go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, Tyson, man, you're a big one there, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you going to behave yourself? Oh, oh, oh. Behave. Tyson, you got to stay in control Come here, man. On. Okay. Use okay. that toy, okay, okay. LB? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys Tyson. later, okay? okay. Go okay. swim away now. Bye, okay. guys. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. We'll take our Tyson into control here. You gotta figure out how to keep Tyson entertained, huh? Uh, oh, 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 come on, Tyson, look out, look out, look out. Okay, Tyson, you see all this stuff out here? Yeah, Tyson. Yeah, oh, yeah, he oh, liked yeah, that, he huh? Liked that, Tyson. Oh, Tyson, Tyson, Tyson dropped his toy. Get the toy back. Tyson, Tyson, quick, Tyson. 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 get his toy you back. Oh, you missed it. Tyson. No, here, here. Oh, Tyson, yeah, come on, Tyson. Come on, Tyson. You can get the toy. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's good, Tyson. Okay. Okay. Now, just look, look, Tyson, at all the little underwater aquatic creatures here, huh? Yeah, you like that over there? Look. Oh, he lost his toy again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Quick, get my head back, man. Give me my head. Oh, it's not a. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, no, okay, Tyson. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, boy. Where's it? Okay. I need some food, man. Here, I think I see. I think I see a place over here. Come on, Tyson. Let's go. Let's go over he here, okay? Come on, come on. We'll put you down here. Here we go. Here we're gonna put you in here, Tyson, okay? Here we go. It's a nice little bed yeah, of seaweed, huh? Yeah. yeah, there you go, Tyson. Okay. Okay, oh, just stay Tyson. right there, okay? Here, yeah, let's take that off, Tyson. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Go to sleep yeah, now, Tyson. Tyson. Okay, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at Tyson. See, take a little. We're gonna eat something. You don't go anywhere, Tyson, okay? Whoa. Okay. Bye. Woo. Tyson's a handful, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, I tell you what. I'm hungry. I think I got some snacks in here, all right? Oh, yeah. What are you in the mood for, huh? How would you like a Slim Jim, yeah. huh? You want a Slim Jim? Yeah, that's why I had to put Tyson down. Can't open up the old Slim Jim with a dinosaur in your hands, right? I'm good now. Here, you can eat it later, all okay. right? All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. <gasps> Tyson! Tyson? Tyson! Where's the dinosaur? Tyson! You in there? Tyson? Tyson? Where'd you leave him? You in there, Tyson? Tyson? What are we gonna do, man? Uh, you see a dino anywhere around here? Uh-oh, Sarah's gonna be mad. I know Sarah's gonna be mad. We are in deep dino... What are we gonna do? Oh, oh. I know, I know, I know, I know. What, what? The new dino app. Oh, yeah. The dino tracker. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, let's see if we can find Tyson on the dino tracker, okay? okay? Okay. I know it's still in beta mode and everything, but it'll probably still work. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, come on, Tyson, where are you, where are you? Where are you? Wait, <gasps> I see something right there. He's over by the inflatables. Let's go. Come on, let's go to the inflatables. Okay, 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 okay. This is the inflatables. This is where it showed the little blip on the radar and the app, but it's gone. I don't see the blip now. You see Tyson anywhere? Wait a minute. Maybe he's in there. Why do you think Tyson's in there? Because it's a bounce house. What? No. Bounce house. Don't be, man. Tyson, where are you? Dude. 
Hey! Tyson, you in here? I don't think Tyson's in here. Tyson? Uh, I'm coming, Tyson! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Tyson? He's not here, man! Okay, oh. we gotta get going! <laughs> okay, Park Ranger B. Hey, come on. All right, I got the app. Uh. Let's see if we can spot Tyson on the app there. Oh. Okay, here we go, here we go. There! there. Right there! By the T-Rex! Get your shoes, let's go! Hey, look, Park Ranger B. It's the main entrance to Jurassic Quest, okay? Yeah. I'm sure T-Rex is just right in here. We're gonna find Tyson, okay? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look, Ugh. it's T-Rex! T-Rex! Okay, let's see if we can find Tyson here okay, somewhere. Tyson. Tyson? 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 You're around here, Tyson. Tyson! Wait, Tyson, are you in there? You're in there, Tyson! Open up, T-Rex, to Tyson! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson, come Tyson. out! Tyson! Come on. I think I see him! Where? The Spinosaurus! The Spinosaurus? Yeah, let's go! Look, okay. Spinosaurus! Oh, look! It's Spinosaurus, man. Okay. This thing's huge, isn't it? Okay. All right, you said you saw Tyson over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson, where Tyson. are you, Tyson? Tyson, where are you, man? Oh, no. Oh, it's Tyson's toy. Yeah. Oh, man. It means Tyson was here. Do you see him in here anywhere? Okay, let's see. Tyson! Safari Sarah's gonna be back any minute. We're gonna be really in the biggest trouble oh, ever. Yeah. Hold on. I know. Silly me, man. The Dino Tracker app, okay? <sighs> There! The dino rides! Yeah, the dinosaur Quick, rides! Let's get there before he takes off again. Come on, dude! Okay, okay, okay. All right. These are the dino rides. This is where the blip was, okay? Okay. All right, uh, you wanna see if you can go on this one? Okay. I don't see Tyson around here. Maybe I can spot him from up there. Yeah, maybe if you get on that ride, you can look out and you'll see Tyson hanging out here okay. somewhere. Okay, Park Ranger B, do you see anything up there? Not yet. Man, where'd that dinosaur go? Uh, We're in trouble. I think I see something by the gift shop. Come on, man, let's go find it. Okay. We're great, Kobe. This is the gift shop. Let's split up and see if we can find Tyson, okay? Yeah. You go that way, go this way. Oh, ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, a backpack. Yeah, that's cool. Come on, Tyson. Ooh, look. It's a megalodon. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Tyson, you over here? Oh, man. Come on out, Tyson. You're going to get me in real trouble. With Safari Sarah, Tyson. <laughs> Park Ranger B. Did you find him? Did you find Tyson anywhere? No. No? Wait a minute. What's this? It's like an inflatable T-Rex? Yeah, I got this at the gift shop with my own money. You got an inflatable T- Hey, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Yeah. Backpack. It's a Megalodon backpack? Yeah. Oh, man, how much stuff did you get? Dude, we don't have time for this. We got to get back over to the ancient oceans exhibit because it's about to open in any minute. Safari Sarah's gonna be there and we're gonna have to explain to her how we lost Tyson. This is like the worst thing ever, okay? Okay, let's go! Okay, let's go. Man, what are we gonna do? I know, what are we gonna do? You see Safari Sarah anywhere? No, no. She's right there! She is right there. Oh, she's coming this way! Dude, what are we gonna do? I wonder where Tyson is. I don't have a Tyson, do you? I don't have a Tyson either. You just got this. You think, you think she'll think this is Tyson, maybe? We can use this. Huh? Tyson! It is Tyson. Right there by the Quetzalcoatlus. Yeah. All right, awesome. He's with Park Ranger Aaron and LB. I wonder where they're at. Oh, but Sarah's coming. Here, what are we going to do? How are we going to get Tyson without Sarah spotting us? I don't us, know. Huh? I don't... What am I doing with this here? What? Leave it to me. Leave it to you? What, yeah. do you have a plan? Mm hmm Okay, what are you going to do? I'm going to distract her. Oh, okay. How are you going to distract her? Don't worry, I got this. Okay, well, she's almost here. Quick, you go meet her. I'll go get Tyson. Let's go. Oh, there they are. Hey, LB. Oh, oh hey, Safari hey, Sarah. Uh, how do you like Bob here? Yeah, Bob. Oh, is this your T Rex? Yeah, it's Bob, yeah. Oh, uh, where's my T Rex? Uh, here, you can have Bob. I can have yeah. Bob. Okay, yeah. well, when did you oh, get Bob? Come here. Tyson! Come here, Tyson! Oh, here. Cool. Okay, but what about Tyson? Oh, what is this? What is that? Is that a megalodon? Oh, yeah, this is a megalodon. Oh, topical. That's awesome. Do you want the Slim Jim? Oh, I love Slim Jim. He never eats Slim Jims. I'm going to get you, Tyson. Oh, yeah. Where is Tyson, actually, right now? Yeah, he's with Parker. Come here, Tyson! Hey, do you know this? Oh, man. I missed him. That is really. Oh, my gosh. And his mouth opens. That's it. Yeah. There's Tyson right there. Cool. Yeah. So, so Park Ranger Aaron has him. Yes. Okay, so he's safe. Three. Yeah. Come here, Tyson. Like a hundred percent. Oh man, okay. I missed him okay. again. Oh, and by the way, what's this type of dinosaur? Well, it's a carnivore. 
Um, okay, let's Tyson. see, uh, I got you, Tyson. is Here it I come. Albertosaurus? Here I, come. I don't know, I'm asking you. Oh, okay, yeah, it's an Albertosaurus, let's say that, okay, definitely. Okay, good, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm an expert, totally. I just want to be positive. One more time, y'all have Tyson still, right? Yeah. Okay, because it seems like y'all are trying to distract me or something. No, it's not like Park Ranger is behind you trying to look for Tyson, and we lost Tyson. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no? Okay. I mean, I trust you guys. Y'all are park rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Park ranger. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm so see. glad you have them safe and warm. You've been with them, yeah. having fun yeah. all day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. You want to take Tyson back? Yeah, of Here, course. Here, can you take these things? That? You can, can have you? Tyson okay. back. Hey, hey boy. I bet oh, there we go. You're such a good boy. Hey, honey. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, that was awesome. Plus, if you yeah! you'll be hanging out with Tyson all day. Yeah, okay. you seem like you really enjoyed it, Tyson. Oh, yeah, no problem at all, all right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, good. All right, well, let's go get ready for the launch of okay. Ancient Oceans, okay? <laughs> well, we'll see you all later. Okay, bye, bye, Tyson. Bye. Come on, Bob. Hey, Park oh. Ranger OB, man. We finally made it yeah. to the brand new Ancient Oceans exhibit at Jurassic West. Cool, let's go check it out, man. Let's go. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look at the size of this ammonite, man. Yeah, the ammonite's it's, huge. It is huge. It's got all these moving tentacles. They're going to get yeah. you. <laughs> so awesome. Hey. Hey, I hear you and me. I think that is you and me. Let's go check it out. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, look. See, look, it's a screen that's giving us information. But you know yeah. who's in there? Who? It's Park Ranger Aaron and Park Ranger OB. See, there's me. Oh, yeah, there's you. It's Park Ranger me. <laughs> we teamed up with Jurassic Quest to make the adventure videos as the virtual host of the new Ancient Oceans exhibit, huh? Cool. How cool is that? So as we work our way through the exhibit, Park Ranger Aaron and Park Ranger OB helps us go through, huh? Yeah. Cool, let's keep going and check out the rest of the undersea creatures here. By me. By me. Whoa. Whoa. Look at, ooh, look at that mean looking piranha fish looking thing there. Man, look how real looking the movement is on this, huh? Oh, look at his neck, it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very realistic, isn't it? I think that's a plesiosaurus, but I'm not sure what that one is. Maybe we should ask ourselves. Oh, oh cool, look, oh, it's man. an archelon. Giant ancient sea turtle, huh? Yeah. As big as this is, this doesn't even compare to the Megalodon! Yeah! Man, check out this. Oh, it's a movement in there. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's like a giant prehistoric shark. You know, like the T-Rex of fishes yeah. or whatever, or sharks. Hey, let's go around the side and see how big this thing is, okay? Oh, so, yeah. oh look, its mouth is opening up. Like big, huge, Arr, it's gonna yeah. eat you. Okay, oh, and look, there its fins are flapping. Oh, Man, yeah. this thing is ginormous. Look at the tail yeah. back there. I can't believe how big this thing is. This is like the biggest underwater sea creature we've ever seen, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Every time she hits the wall, she gets back up again. That is resilience. Almost done and got it. What you got, Park Ranger? My latest gadget, Dino Remote Control. It can pause, play, rewind, and fast forward any dinosaur just by pointing it at them. Wanna see? Are you sure it's safe? Sure. If you say so. Come here, little lady. I can't believe it, it worked! I thought you said, Never mind. And now for the real test. Let me try to rewind you. I've been thinking. Orson, maybe it's time we tell Park Ranger Sam the truth. The truth about what? Santa Claus? <laughs> What's the truth about Santa Claus? That he's a really good gift giver. <laughs> Come on, it's not a big secret. No, I've been thinking we should tell Sam once and for all that she's an invention of the Dino Master. I mean, if I were a robot, I'd want to know. You'd tell me if I was, right? Yes. I'm a robot? No, 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 of course you're not a robot. And you know me. I am physically incapable of telling a lie. <laughs>
Maybe I'm a robot. Wait, are you sure this is a good idea? Well, if my calculations are correct, pressing this button will remind our baby dino to go back to where she started. Sure, what's up? We have some news for you that might sound a little strange. Is it about Santa Claus? Because I already know. What about Santa Claus? That he can't possibly deliver all those presents in one night. He can't? <clears throat> uh, which is why he has 36 hours on account of... The multiple time zones across the globe. Everybody knows this. Right! Right! Everybody knows this. Anyway. Sam, there's something very unique about you that Park Ranger Orson and I thought you should know. Okay. You know the Dino Master, right? Sworn enemy of the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers, of course. Yeah, he invented you. That's ridiculous. How do you invent a person? Well, that's just it. You're actually a robot with three settings, Real Girl, Robo Girl, and the Dino Master's Henchman. I don't recommend the third setting. We rescued you from the Dino Master's control, rebooted you, and changed your settings to Real Girl so you wouldn't remember that you were a robot. But if you want, we can change you back to Robo Girl so that you'd have your robot powers as well. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a minute. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, so if I'm a robot, then I have to have some sort of control panel, right? Exactly. <laughs> what about a pteranodon? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah, well, I want to test out something bigger, like a triceratops or stegosaurus. That big enough for ya? Um, technically, but I think a gigantosaurus is a little bigger. Asher! Kidding! Kidding! going to reset me and change my settings to Robo Girl? Correct. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is the most ridiculous thing ever. I mean, you can't just... <laughs> that was weird. As I was saying... I hope this hologram finds you well. You are Sam, the secret autonomous machine. If this Sam shall reach you in error, please return her to the evil Dino Raptor. Pair me, the Dino Master. I'll turn this off. <laughs> Did I just project that hologram from my eyeballs? Pretty cool, huh? Um, I'm not sure. I need a minute or two to myself. Robot Blues, I've seen it happen. It's okay, she needs this time. Well, like my mom always said, 
Be kind and rewind. Do you think I'm weird? Of course not. I think robots are awesome, and girls are... Well, let's just say it all evens out. Thanks, Asher. That makes me feel better. I would hug you, but... We don't need to hug. Hey, where's Maisie? Oh, well, hopefully she's still on pause between the jaws of a hungry T-Rex. What? I'll tell you the whole story on the way there. Let's go! Hmm. I see your problem. Luckily, you have a full-fledged robot park ranger ready to help. What do we do? As soon as I give you the signal, press play and stand back. Hit it! story. Actually, I can tell you the whole thing in 8.7 seconds. Because I'm a robot, but it's cool. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me about Santa Claus? You can't lie, remember? All right, Park Ranger, here's the truth. Santa isn't Really a native of the North Pole. I knew it. Is he from the Midwest? I just get that vibe. Don't you? Yeah. It's been a while. We should take the babies and head back to HQ. Good call. Hey. The gang's all here. Maisie, doing all right? You're looking a bit pale. Oh, it's because a T-Rex almost ate me and I was frozen between his jaws for what felt like a very long time. So yes, it's been a day. Thanks for asking. Another day at the ranch. Ah, good point. What's that, Asher? The new gadget? Yeah, but it's broken. I need to install a flash drive to do diagnostic. How about a thumb drive? Sure. My pinky's also a corkscrew if that helps anybody. Santa isn't really a native of the North Pole. <laughs> the nervous guy. Hey, Gumdrop, put Park Ranger Orson down for a lump of coal this year. That's right, Park Ranger Orson from T Rex Ranch. Flying that Omnibus. Seven minutes earlier. What's going on? It's the Dino Master. Looks like he's having some problems at home. Ah, you're a bitch of a master! <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Pay no attention to what you see. Whoa, a baby dinosaur? Is that the one you plan to kidnap Uncle Dan? Yeah, what? I have no idea what he's talking about. No idea. Who's your new friend, Uncle Dan? Yeah, this is my nephew, Finn. What's good, people? 
His mom said, we'll be back by noon, but now they're hours late and I have an engagement. He's got a pottery class. You mean pottery class? No, pottery. He's learning how to make better evil plots. <laughs> Are you serious right now? What am I supposed to do with you? Hey, do you need help babysitting? What? I have sitting experience. Yeah. With dogs and reptiles. And you're kind of a softie. Babysitting? I am 10 years old, ma'am. Doesn't matter. You're hired. Just don't tell us, ma'am. You can be a more ill temper than I am. Hold on, so I don't get a say in this? How about I give you a dino fudgesicle? I don't take bribes. Two dino fudgesicles. You drive a hard bargain, kid. Fine. I'll send them right over. Well, that was entertaining. He knows to meet us here, right? I think so. I still can't believe you offered to babysit the bad guy's nephew. Hey, hang on. We know the Dino Master's evil. Doesn't mean his nephew is. Fair point. Looks like he changed his mind anyway. Let's head back to Dino HQ. Wait, how'd he get here? Finn, we found him trying to steal our baby Triceratops. I'm sure this is all a big misunderstanding. Right, Finn? Definitely. But since he's so interested in dinosaurs, Maybe Bella, our serious paleontologist, could show him a few more outside. Can't. I'm studying Protinosaurus social behavior. And Asher volunteered to be my assistant. I did? a boy, Park Ranger. You're one step closer to that homework helper badge. I am? Yes. In fact, we must urgently make our way to the Protinosaurus dome. But that's so far. I can drive you in the T-Rex 1. Let's go now. Sort of gadget. Uh, it looks like something my uncle might have made. That is not a toy, Finn. It's the imaginary blaster. The imaginary what? It, it does whatever you think it does. I don't know what it does. Shoots feathers or something? <laughs> yes, that's what you think it does. Oops. Okay. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, you gotta clean up this whole place. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, trash cans in the corner. I'll get the broom. And as soon as you're done, take the garbage bags outside and put them in the secure dumpster so that dinos don't get to them. Please, and thank you. Who's the softie now? Perfect spot. You set the food out, right, Parkland Drasher? Um, no. You wait the dino kibble. Maybe. Yes. I'm gonna finish this on my own. Okay. <laughs> Delightful! You can park those bags of smelly feathers right over yonder. Hey, I didn't make them smelly. I just made the feathers. And I'm still not quite sure how. Well, it's your responsibility. Throw them in the dumpster, and I'll meet you down the trail. Uh, fine. Forget this. Why are 
paid so hard to study up close. Huh, maybe they're shy, but also nervous. <laughs> Not like me, of course. Finn, what are you doing here? Uh, I was told to see if you needed any help as a park ranger tryout, maybe? Really? I'll talk to Orson about that, but no thank you. I think you've helped plenty. Okay. Do you really want to know more about dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, uh... What's that? That's a pteranodon. Actually, a lot of pteranodons. Let's go see where they're going. And done! Wow! You're telling me they have these puzzles in all different sizes and shapes? Yeah, but they're not really puzzles. Where's Bella? We have to find her. Let's go! I can't remember where we parked the T-Rex one. Oh, uh, what do we do now? Run! This is next level. Do you mind taking a picture with me and the uh, Allosaurus? The Allosaurus! He's gonna unpause in about 10 seconds, so. Pictures later. That's cool. <laughs> Yes, I'd say a dozen pteranodons of a Tynosaurus is having a garbage party. <gasps> Where's Finn? into the dumpsters like I asked. Maybe that inside but close. Close for trying? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Alexa, call the Dino Master. Calling the Dino Master. Our class, I'm on a five minute break from Pirate class. You have to take Finn back. He's misbehaving. Good, at least he's doing something right. <laughs> but I'm not. I don't want to be like you, Uncle Dan. I want to learn about dinosaurs, invent gadgets, and go on adventures. Learn to tie garbage bags? Maybe. Who knows? Hmm. Interesting twist. Well, we'll talk more about this sudden interest in being good on the way home. You know what? Maybe we could watch him just a little while longer. Wonderful. See you later. So, what do we do now? First thing? You're gonna clean up all this garbage. For that, Finn, you could earn the Garbage Gatherer Park Ranger Achievement Badge. But I'm not a park ranger. True, but our friend Sam here was a robot under the Dino Master's control just a couple months ago. So, I guess what I'm saying is, anything's possible. Ah! Oh, did my eyes do the red glowy thing again? Sorry. <laughs> See you next time! Looks like our Brachiosaurus wants to get in on the fun, too. Hey! Give that back! Pretty please! Yeah! Please! <laughs>
23 minutes earlier. T-Rex Ranch. The sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, so, so much sun. It's the perfect day to earn an achievement badge. Wouldn't you agree, Park Ranger Bella? Yeah, you're right, Park Ranger Macy, and I'm ready for my challenge. Good, because today is your chance to earn T-Rex Ranch's ooeyest, gooeyest badge. The Smorgas Badge. Park Rangers? Hi, Park Ranger Orson. Isn't it your day off? You bet. That's why I spent the whole morning cataloging the contents of our herbivore dino droppings. Ew! How is that fun? It's not fun exactly, but knowledge is its own reward. You know what is fun? Me and Park Ranger Wyatt made a really fun game. See? May we present to you Spinny Golf, the world's first off balance sport. Is that a salad bowl? Is that my salad bowl? Um, maybe, but when you flip it over, it's a golf tee. And when you put this big ball on top, you have a giant golf ball. Interesting. And why is it called spinny golf? Because before you hit the ball, you have to spin around five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you grab the racket, take aim, and whack the ball toward that bucket. Oh. Huh. So whoever hits the ball in the bucket wins. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone has made it in the bucket yet. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun trying. Wanna give it a shot? How about you show us how it's done first, Park Ranger? One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Faster, 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 faster! impressed by your commitment, but you didn't get the ball in the bucket. That's not the point, Park Ranger Orson. What's the point? To have fun. Thanks, Dimetrodon! He's an awesome caddy. Hmm. Hey, check it out! Now this is a roasting stick. What kind of badge is this again? It's the achievement of a delicious campfire tradition. Graham crackers, chocolate and marshmallow in glorious harmony. S'mores? The badge of s'mores. Sounds delicious, right? Yeah, but Park Ranger Orson's badges are more for like, logic or bravery or, not marshmallows. Trust me. You never know when a smorgas badge will come in handy. The best part about spinny golf is you can play anywhere. Okay, here goes nothing. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Hey! Yeah! Well, that was objectively amusing, but you still didn't get the ball in the bucket. Here, you want to give it a try? You know what? Sure. I can have a little fun now and then. Let loose, throw caution to the wind. Oh, 
What does that mean? And now I spin. Yup. But first, let me put the ball back. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Three's enough. We're I'm good. Three centimeters by three centimeters. Pretty sweet skills, Park Ranger. One step closer to a smorgas badge. Thanks, but I feel like this is a skill more for junior park rangers, not for serious park rangers who can handle real danger. Those with a smorgas badge laugh in the face of danger. You know what, you're right. I'm here to learn, not critique. That's s'more like it. Loud and clear, Park Ranger. How can I help? Um, we could use some creative solutions over in Herbivore Valley. We're on our way. Well, that happened. Oh, now I see your problem. Not really a problem, because I had fun getting it there. Okay, what's gotten into him? Isn't it your day off? It is. Uh, he spent the morning looking into Dino Pool. Yeah, that makes sense. So, what happened? We were playing spinning golf, and then Park Ranger Orison hit the ball into the mouth of the Brachiosaurus. And now we need it back, because we're having a roaring good time, and if fun isn't my middle name, then I don't know what is. I thought your middle name was Edmonton. Go ahead and drop the ball, buddy. Time for the Rangers to play. I wish there was something else the Brachiosaurus could chew on. Maybe there is. Park Ranger Maisie, we need ooey gooey tasty marshmallows. Stat. Oh no, they're all melted. Even better. If we attach these twigs together to make one giant twig and then attach the giant marshmallow to the top, the dino won't be able to resist. She'll drop the ball immediately. I love this plan. Let's make it happen. Okay, we are ready to go. We did a really good job. Mm -hmm. Do we have any extra marshmallows? No! Ah, no. oh, shish kebab! Okay, a little bit to the left. Okay, now up. I think it's working. I think she's taking the bait. She's got it. There it goes. Orson, catch the ball. Got it. But who cares? It's not about winning. It's about having fun, taking a chance, and seeing where the ball ends up. All I know is I feel alive! And wet. Very wet. Well, Park Ranger Orson, you're not the only winner here today. Park Ranger Bella, I present to you the tastiest badge of them all, the Smorgas Badge, to recognize your mastery in all things chocolate, marshmallow, graham crackers, and twigs. I'm honored. And a little surprised, mostly because I did not think this was real. The s'more you know. <laughs> Does that mean you got chocolate in your bag? Chocolates are for closers, Park Ranger. Are you sure you're ready to earn your smorgas badge today? Uh, no. I'm gonna keep playing spinny golf. Come on, Asher. <laughs> More for me. Look, there they are. Wait, is that? Two Orsons? Gotta go! 
21 minutes earlier. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Go back six steps, come on! All right, park rangers. While Maisie and Bella are off on their training mission, I need us to come up with some new and safe dino controlled devices. The Dino Master left us some powerful gadgets, but are often dangerous and unreliable. But we just started our game of T-Rex Trouble. Oh, well, I guess I'll just keep this reptile wrangler achievement badge to myself. We're in. That's more like it. We've got an unruly Spinosaurus, so I'll need your ideas in an hour. But that's so soon. I mean, no sweat. <laughs> Plenty of time. Come on, little guy. Let's go. Playtime? Come on. You two ready to have some structured fun? Pretty soon, these little guys will be bigger than us. Like, way bigger. Which is why we have to train them young. And we'll start with spherical object retrieval. Fetch. Fetch the ball, Para. Go get it. Go ahead, Ty. That's OK. Maybe they're more into other sports? Hey, Sam, come up with the ideas for new gadgets? Not yet, but any minute now. What's in the book? Oh, just some brainstorms. You did these all today? Yeah, mostly, but I better get working on some new prototypes. Good luck. Okay, one more time. Fetch! Ah, that was the last toy I had! Any luck, Bella? No, but I've got a good feeling about this one. Ducks are birds, and birds are basically dinosaurs, right? So this will be like a family reunion. New plan. Well, I'll be an Allosaurus's uncle. Sarah, you did it. You fetched. What's your excuse, mister? I need help coming up with a new idea for a dino gadget. Let me think about that. Also, would it be okay if I said it was my idea? I mean, you don't need an achievement badge, right? I'm sorry. My services are unavailable right now. Okay. Well, what if we share credit? Like a collaboration? I'm sorry. My services are unavailable right now. I see. Playing hard to get. Well, maybe you can't help me, but I know who can. Arexa, call the dino master. Calling the dino master. But remember, it was your idea, not mine. Oh, Park Ranger Sam. What can I do for you? Ready to come crawling back, are you? What? No. I need help coming up with a new idea, and I heard you're good with gadgets. Hmm. A little brainstorming, eh? Let's hear what you got so far. Okay. Um... What about a big, wide thing with cushions so when the dinos get upset, they can sit on it and relax? You're looking at the couch right now, aren't you? No. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Since I'm feeling charitable today, I'll give you my worst idea, which is still ten times better than your best idea. Hey, Sam, almost ready? Yeah. All right, I'll go get Asher. Okay, now roll over. You are just the perfect little Parasaurolophus, aren't you? 
It's still not luck, huh? <sighs> it's so weird. Back at Dino HQ, this little guy loves to play with Asher, but when I try, it's like I'm not even there. Maybe it's all about enthusiasm. Show that you're really excited to play with him. You're right. Good note. Okay, buddy! Go get the frisbee! No, no, don't get up. Watch me, I'll show you how it's done. On second thought, maybe we'll continue this lesson another time. Pack the babies! All right, Asher, let's hear your pitch for the next Dino Control gadget. Sure, I have a whole notebook of ideas. Uh, how about you just tell us your top three? Oh, top three, okay. What's the best way to scare off an angry Allosaurus? This feels like a joke. We give up. How do you scare off an angry Allosaurus? Great question, let me show you. Don't want to go extinct twice, right? Nicely done, Asher. Very effective. Next up, the boom boom whistle. It makes any dino that hears this instantly go poop. Wait! Sure it only works on dinosaurs? Um, I'm not 100% sure. In that case, let's save the poop your pants whistle for another day, huh? It can mimic anyone's voice. Here, catch. Hi, I'm Sam, and this is how I talk. Hi, I'm Orson, and I love rules. Hi, I'm Maisie. I'm like your cool big sister. So, what do you guys think? Very impressive, Asher. Although I'm sure Sam's got some great ideas of her own. Get on up there, Sam. Okay, so whenever birds eat crops on a farm, you need a scarecrow to get rid of them, right? So I made a scarecrow just for dinosaurs, the Scarodactyl. Are you amazed or frightened? I can't tell. Well, it's definitely scary. It looks just like you! <laughs> oh. Oops. Go for Orson. Maisie to Dino HQ! We need backup! We got a Spinosaurus situation that's about to get spinier! Oh, Spinosaurus. Got it, Park Rangers. On our way. But I may need to lay low. Me and Spiny do not get along. The Spinosaurus? He hates Park Ranger Orson. Wait, that gives me an idea! Sam, bring your Scarodactyl! Wait, is that two Orsons? I wasn't sure that it would, to be honest. Hey, Asher, can I borrow your little voice doohickey? Sure. All right, let's try this one more time. Hey, Ty. Fetch. <laughs> Whoa, how did you know that would work? I've seen how close Asher and Ty are. I think that each baby dino has their own favorite human. Oh, Kara, does that mean I'm your favorite? Sam, 
For your very handsome and well-dressed Scarodactyl, I present to you the Reptile Wrangler Achievement Badge. Great job, Park Ranger Sam. That was a great idea. And Asher, for improving in Sam's idea and helping save the day, I present to you the Teamwork Titan Achievement Badge. Wow, thanks. I'd also like to add that Asher had a lot of great ideas, like, Hey, what's this whistle? Thirty-nine minutes later. Good news! Got our park ranger uniforms back, all dry cleaned and pressed. How's that busted dino trap coming along? All fixed. Fantastic. That's two chores down. Yoo-hoo, Rexa. Yes, Park Ranger Orson. What's left on our daily task list? There are currently 173 items remaining. You're kidding me. <laughs> hey, Park Rangers. You seem stressed. Or hungry. I can't quite tell. Definitely stressed. Too much to do, and not enough time to do it. Do you want help? That'd be great, actually. We could really use an extra hand. Oh. I only have the two. That's okay, Sam, we got it. Orson, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Not enough starch on the uniforms. I agree. No. Maybe there's another way we can get help from Sam. Or should I call her the secret autonomous machine? We could switch her into RoboGirl mode. I don't know. She's been in real girl mode ever since she got here. But what's the use in having a robot around if she can't do robot stuff? How else are we going to complete our monthly task list on time? It is the last day of the month, and I do not want to find out what happens if we don't finish on time. Just leave it to me. I got this. Hey, Sam. Can you grab me a pair? They're in the bottom drawer. Sure. Happy to help. Hmm, I don't see anything. Oh, wait. No, that's a potato. Thank you for activating RoboGirl Sam. My power cell is currently at 99% battery life. Also, there are no pairs in this fridge, nor have there ever been. Oh, uh, no worries. Hey, we thought about it, and we'd love your help finishing our chores. Of course. What can I do? We have a task list, but in general, uh, fix whatever needs fixing. I understand that. Thank you. There seems to be a loose thread in your scarf. I can fix that. May I? This says a seismic disturbance started in the clearing just ahead. What do you think caused it? Big dino footsteps? Maybe, but it looks like something fell from the sky and landed right... Here! Whoa, what is that? Well, let's go find out. <gasps> Pretty cool, huh? Wait, look. Dino tracks. Looks like an Allosaurus. Big one, too. And it went right through the rainbow. I wonder what that means. Did you hear that? It's not usually a good sign, but I don't see anything, so... You also saw a bright green Allosaurus, right? Yeah. Let's go follow it. Sure. Why not? Hey, Sam, we're back from the... Hey, Park Rangers. Hey, Sam. What's happening here? Oh, well, I was about to fix Orson's scarf, but when I sat down on the couch to sew it, I noticed a loose spring. So I moved the couch, which exposed a loose floorboard. Okay, but is any of this on our task list? I don't know. You tell me. Reshingle the roof? Change the oil on the T-Rex 1. Organize all the rocks in T-Rex Ranch by size, weight, and color. Sam, are you sure about all this? Oh, yes. After all, I have been asked to fix whatever needs fixing. 
She can't keep this up forever, right? Of course not. After 5,000 years of activity, my battery level will decrease to 50% of its current level. Oh. We've made a huge mistake. If the other dinos can't see that Allosaurus coming, he could wipe out the whole park. Good thing I brought the rainbow, right? It can change the color of anything it zapped. Nice. Did you invent that? No, I found it in the Dino Master gadget closet. Where'd you pull it out from? I don't suppose it does anything more helpful? Guess we'll find out. Let me try a different setting. What happened? Why'd they leave? I think they were embarrassed, but very patriotic. Does that roof seem leaky to you? I'm gonna go check it out. We need to do something. She's never gonna stop. Okay, let's think carefully. Do we have any sort of instructional manual for Sam? Actually, we kinda do. Let me get this straight, Park Rangers. First, you steal my robot, and now you want my help fixing her? That is rich! We're not asking for your help, Dino Master. Just a little advice. Oh, let me think about that for a sec. No! How about that, huh? How about no? I knew this was a waste of time. The truth is, Park Rangers, the only way to get Sam to break away from her infinite task loop is to give her an impassable task, which will cause her to reboot. But, when you know it, there's nothing she can't do, because the person who created her is a genius! Me, in case you forgot. Wait, that's it. There's nothing she can't do. Hold on! Don't start getting ideas from my cruel mockery! No, wait! Don't tell me off! Don't tell me off! I'm not done mockery! Wait, don't tell me off! All right, I know what to do. Let's get Sam back here. Hey, Sam! Would you come down for a minute? I think you missed a speck of dust on the floor. Oh, no! Be right there. Oh, look! It's an Allosaurus nest. But where's the Allosaurus? Looks like he's everywhere! <gasps> I've got an idea! How is this helping exactly? Look over there! <laughs> okay, I've got a new plan. Run for it! <laughs> We're trapped! Wait, zap me! What? Why? Just zap me! <laughs> They're confused! Now's your chance! Happy to help! Happy to help you too! Everything is back to normal. <clears throat> oh, right. One sec. Where is the patch of dust? Oh, we'll take care of it. But we do have one more urgent job for you, and it needs to be done before anything else on your list. Okay, what is it? We need you to do nothing. Nothing. That's right. Absolutely nothing. But that's impossible. Even when I'm doing nothing, I'm still doing something. I'm I'm breathing, I'm standing, I'm talking. It's 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 impossible. <laughs> System malfunction. Convincing reboot. I think it worked. Sam? You in there? <sighs> I just had the weirdest dream. Why are you staring at me? No reason, nothing to worry about. Wow, it's so clean in here. You could thank Sam for that. Thanks, Sam, it looks great. Why are you purple? 
You can thank Asher for that. The rainbow ray ran out of batteries. It happens. You're getting all this, Sam? Yes, I am. Looks like we finally found the legendary word I know. Run! Three hours earlier. I proudly present to you the newest addition to T-Rex Ranch. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. The latest in fresh storage technology. Cool. Is it a robot? What? No, it's a mini fridge. That's all? Just a mini fridge? Look, Rangers, this is a very exciting development. We can use it to store specimens in the field, baby dino treats, and most importantly, lunch. What are we looking at? It's like the inside of a trash can, but cold. Ah, oh, horse feathers. Somebody drank my juice box and ate my sardine sandwich. Who would do that? Nobody I know. Really? Nobody you know? Hey, don't look at me. I bring my own lunch. What about you, Greenhorn? I'm sorry, I have no idea. <sighs> no, I apologize. The temper's a bit short today because I slept poorly. And I lost my hat, which is odd because I usually wear it to sleep. That is odd. Right? Then somebody steals my lunch, and to top it all off, I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms, and I don't know why. Do you own a cat? Does anybody ever really own a cat? Hey, what's going on? Well, you're just in time for some pretty big news. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, okay. Park Ranger Orson bought a new fridge that looks like a robot, but it's not. Also, someone stole his lunch. <laughs> See for yourself. I'd ask that you avoid touching anything. This is a crime scene now. Ew! What is that smell? Sardines! I just don't know who else with access to the mini fridge and an insatiable appetite would do such a thing. Hmm. Was it one of you? I don't think they like sardines either. Then it looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned mystery. The case of the mi- I solved the mystery! It's obviously the were dino. Uh, what's a were dino? I'm glad you asked! The were dino is a legendary beast inside T-Rex Ranch. Every month, in the last three days of a full moon, the were dino's curse changes a man into a werewolf, and then the werewolf changes into a raptor! Roar! Mm -hmm. We've been through this before, Asher. There's no such thing as a were dino. Are you sure? Every time something mysterious happens, Asher blames it on a were dino. Yeah, when our recycling bins got knocked over, Asher said it was the were dino. It was raccoons. Were raccoons! No. Well, whomever it was, they're not gonna get away with it twice. I'm gonna install surveillance cameras inside and outside Dino HQ and catch the thief in the act. <sighs> After a very quick nap. <sighs> Great! In the meantime, Sam and I will catch the weird dino ourselves, right? Oh, okay, sure. There's no such thing as a were dino. I don't want to take anything off the table. Hello, monster fans! This is Park Ranger Asher. And Park Ranger Sam. And we're in the raptor paddock looking for a were dino. Sam and I put two were dino traps. Tell them, Sam. Trap A is a personal electro fence that activates whenever the were dino steps over it. And trap B is a net inside Dino HQ. If he escapes trap A, trap B will catch him for sure. Right now, we're looking for clues. Whoa, I think I found something. Property of Park Ranger Orson? Why would Orson's hat be out here? 
I slept poorly, and I lost my hat. I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms, and I don't know why. No way! Park Ranger Orson is the word I know. He is? It all makes sense. We found his hat in the woods. He has scratches on his arms, probably from running around the bushes. And he's tired from being out all night. <laughs> Getting all this, Sam? Yes, I am. Looks like we finally found the legendary word I know. Baloney may never be the same. Asher, what if we lure the were diner to Trape using Orson's hat? Great idea, Sam! To Trape! To Trape! What now? Now we hide and wait. Any second now. This is so exciting. But wait, what if Orson really is the wear dino? The electro fence won't hurt him, will it? Nah. Probably not. Uh oh, what's he doing now? Where do you think he's going? To get a snack from his new fridge. <gasps> this is Park Ranger Asher to all available park rangers. A loose raptor, I mean, wear dino, is headed towards Dino HQ. And he may be armed with terrible sardine breath. Looks like he's here already. Oh boy. We did it. We caught the wear dino. Asher, does the wear dino wear pajamas? I'm not the wear dino. That's just the kind of thing a wear dino would say. Asher! We just corralled the rogue raptor you called in and put her back in the raptor paddock. It's a good thing we haven't left yet. Wait, if you just caught a raptor headed to Dino HQ, then that means... Uh-oh! Uh -oh. That means Park Ranger Orson isn't the wear dino. Like I said... Then why are you in the wear dino trap? I think I can explain. This is the surveillance video from last night. Th that's me. I'm, I'm sleepwalking. We see. Ouch! Uh. I had a dream last night that a raptor attacked me. Had to fend him off. Luckily, we found your hat. Hey! <laughs> Oh, so I was stealing my own lunch. I guess I owe everyone an apology. <laughs> well, I guess we proved that there's no such thing as a wear dino. Have we? Yes. yes! And that nobody likes starting sandwiches with Parker and Jorson. What is that? Why can't we see anything? That's not your hot dinosaur breath, is it, Bella? 49 minutes earlier. I am Asher, the amazing. For my first trick, I'm gonna make my assistant disappear. Are you ready? Now you see him, now you don't. Is that supposed to happen? You all see him too, right? It didn't work. 
effort. But it was a great effort. And a high degree of difficulty. The guy at the magic shop said I can make things disappear. I guess it doesn't work on dinos. Maybe you just need more practice. Because practice makes... Pancakes! Or so I've heard. Sure. Practice makes pancakes, too. Mm. Now I want pancakes. Sorry to disappoint. Maybe another time? Not to upstage Asher, but I also have something amazing to show everybody outside. Join me. Aren't you coming? Not right now. I'm gonna put my assistant in the pen and start practicing my act. Got it. Well, I look forward to seeing your magic act later. Okay, are you ready? Drum roll, please. Thank you, that was very impressive. Behold. The new and improved T-Rex one! Ooh. Ah. Just look at that dino green paint job. Slithery scales and ferocious fangs. Designed to intimidate even the fiercest of predators. But that's not all. Inside, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cup holders. You have me in cup holders. I've also mounted the Dino Freeze Ray with onboard Invisispecs. Amazing. And now, the piece de resistance. A T-Rex Ranch air freshener. Is that pizza smell? You got it. Because who needs pine scent when you work in a forest? Mmm, pizza! And I almost forgot. One last thing. The new horn sounds like a T-Rex! What? <laughs> Abracadabra, make this thing disappear! Please? Hey! Maybe you can find some inspiration at the Dino Master's gadget closet. Good idea! Ooh. Invisibility cloak? Okay, this time I, the amazing Asher, will make myself disappear. Ali Shady, Ali Kazam, make myself disappear as fast as you can. Disappear! Box, box, I called it. Shh. Holy surprise, the source, he did it. <laughs> wow. Ta da! How did you do that? I practice. So I don't suppose you know anything about this invisibility cloak? Okay, I use the invisibility cloak. But isn't it cool? We can sneak around predators. Mm, they would hear us and smell us. Asher, great power comes great- Pancakes! Responsibility. Point is, I don't think you're ready for that cloak. None of us are. Bella, can you please put it away? Dino alert! Yeah, a rogue raptor snuck into Herbivore Valley. Yes! I mean, oh no! I'm just so excited to take the upgraded T-Rex 1 out for a spin! Want to be my co-pilot? Yes, please. Sam, Asher, I'll put this away, then we'll check the electric fence to see if it's intact and operational. Not only that, the back seat folds into a bed for midday naps. Oh, and I was gonna install a soda machine, but I, I really- Wait, wait, wait. Stop here. I think we're close. Dino alert. Yeah, sure seems like it. There it is, and it's scaring that poor stag. Hang on, I'll show that raptor something really scary. Ear goggles up, please. Ear goggles? Cover your ears. Yeah, but 
it's headed toward HQ. Then so are we. Go for Orson. Rogue Raptor headed your way. Repeat, Rogue Raptor headed your way. Copy that. Asher, I need you to run back to HQ and get the Dino Freeze Ray. On it. Company's coming. Hmm. It's not here. Take it from here. Out! That? Asher? Woohoo! Over here! You old scamp, it is you! an angry invisible raptor on the loose. Mondays, right? Use the T-Rex when we'll draw the raptor away. <gasps> Great idea. But how do we stop a dino we can't see? But we can see him. I'll use the invisible specs to reveal the raptor, then zap him with the freeze ray. I like your style, park ranger. I have my moment. I see him. <sighs> oh! oh, just you. Thanks for saving our lives. But you know what I'm going to say next. Now, for my newest trick, I'm gonna make this coin disappear. Neko, hey, nee, hey, make the coin go away. New coin! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, see, that was highly entertaining, and you didn't need the invisibility cloak to do it. Hey, remember when Asher made that raptor disappear? That was awesome. That wasn't a trick. <laughs> I don't get it. And now that you're under my control, I need you to bring me the baby Brachiosaurus to my super secret transportal and T-Rex ranch. Understood? Yes, Dino Master. <laughs> Forty-two minutes earlier. I cannot believe we have a device that can actually translate dinosaurs. It's an amazing scientific breakthrough. Yeah, pretty cool. Sorry you can't come on our first translation trip. That's okay. Maybe you should bring some of the gadgets. Like the ElectroFriends gadget, just in case Erexo's translations don't work very well. Thank you. And you're sure you're okay to stay and babysit the baby dinos until Macy gets back from her dog walking? Yeah, I'll be fine. Maybe I'll even take a nap. That'll be Park Ranger Orson and Park Ranger Wyatt in the T-Rex one. Don't get into too much trouble, 
Okay. Who? Me? business is a lot more exercise than I ever thought. My legs feel like jelly. What's jiggling on your end, Park Ranger Asher? Nothing jiggling in here. Just a totally normal day. Uh-huh. This works. Yoo-hoo, Arexa. Hello, Park Ranger Bella. How can I help you? Translate dinosaur sounds. Translating. I think she's saying, I am acrobat. That can't be right. So, what do you think we should do today, Park Ranger Asher? Set the T-Rexes free. Sure, and what about the raptors? Let them loose in libraries. Go for Park Ranger Maisie. Maisie, this is Park Ranger Orson. Park Ranger Wyatt Bell and I have unfortunately encountered a... I think you get the picture. Mind heading over this way and driving our Park Rangers and the T-Rex 1 to complete their mission? I gotta hang back and diagnose some tummy troubles. Sometimes this job really stinks. <coughs> Copy that, Park Ranger. Stay strong, and I'll be there in two shakes of a Triceratops tail. Are you gonna be okay here by yourself while I go get the other Park Rangers? Yes, Mommy. You mean Park Ranger Mommy. I mean Maisie. Yes, Maisie. Mm, I'm not convinced you're okay, but... Just stay here, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Remember, 10 minutes. Translating. I love macaroni and cheese. Sorry, not accurate. But what if he does love mac and cheese? I do. No time for small talk! Get in! I got a rogue dragonosaurus on my tail! You don't have to ask me twice. Come on, Park Ranger! Gotta go! You can wreck that. Translate to the I think she's saying shrimps and grits. There's mac and cheese, no shrimp and grits. You gotta go hungry. This thing's toast. Punch it. A loose gigantosaurus to keep them all distracted. <laughs> Ready for the transportal. The baby brachiosaurus is in my bag. Splendid. Now, just grab the dino eye and proceed to the coordinates we discussed. Your wish is my command. What? I'm not a genie! Eh, close enough. You know how some days just feel kind of off? 
This is one of those days. Tell me about it. I ran into Asher at Dino HQ and he was being really weird. Was he walking stiffly with a glazed look in his eyes? Yeah. How'd you know? Oh man. Something's up. Let's go find out what's happening. What are you up to, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, good question. Yeah, I know. Don't be shy. How do you like my transporter? Just a little something I whipped up the transport matter through time and space. Now all you have to do is release the baby Brachosaurus and nudge him towards my transport. He's under some kind of spell. <gasps> Into the transportal. Asher, no! Got what's coming to you. Where am I? Why am I inside the electro fence? Because the Dino Master put you under some sort of trance. But you'll be okay soon. Just don't listen to them, Park Ranger. Sorry, the electro fence also dehypnotizes anyone inside. So Asher is no longer under your control. Well, of course I know that. I invented the thing. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, everyone. Don't mention it. Although you did call me Park Ranger Mommy when you were under the Dino Master spell, so let's never mention that again, okay? Okay, fair enough. Aw. I resist. You who erects up, translate Dino Sounds. Translating. My car is a library for hot air balloons. What's that supposed to mean? It means that Erex's Dino Translator doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes earlier. Hello, babies. Hope you're staying out of trouble. I got some egg watching to do. Now, why won't you have Can I help you, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, I was hoping to borrow one of your books. Oh, that's great. I'm so excited you're showing an interest in reading. Let's see. We've got A Modern History of Paleontology. Can you dig it? Tales of a Fossil Hunter. Oh, that's clever. It doesn't really matter. I just need them to walk over the lava. Walk over the what now? You've got to be kidding me. Hey, Park Ranger Bella, come take a look at this. On my way. Be careful of the lava. I'll take my chances. Does that look like a crack to you? I'm not sure. Think it's a dud? Could be. Or a Dino Master trick. Oh, I wish there was some way to find out. Why don't you call him and ask? Are you staring at me because I'm on the table or because of what I said? Both. Although. You're not thinking. I am. What would Park Ranger Orson say? Probably something like. I wouldn't trust the Dino Master as far as I can throw him. 
That's a good impression. Thanks. But we shouldn't bother Orson while he's on vacation. I bet he's having the time of his life. This is boring. Or not. Hard to say with him. We're all in agreement that calling the Dynamaster is a ridiculous idea. Right. Right. I mean, how would we even get a hold of him? Easy, like this. Yoo-hoo, Orexa. Yes, Park Ranger Asher. How can I help you today? Call the Dino Master. We want to ask him a question. Calling the Dino Master now. I'm sorry. New phone. Who this? Oh, Park Rangers. Did you mean to call me? Actually, we did. Don't worry. This is weird for us, too. Well, I'm extremely annoyed that you called. What do you want? Our golden dino egg isn't hatching, and we're wondering if there's actually a baby dino inside, or... Or if it's one of your tricks again. No, not one of my tricks, I'm afraid. But, and I know you want to believe me, legend has it if you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, you... Actually, can you hold? What's he doing? Hello, this is the Dino Master. Still us. Oh, sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, yes. If you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, a full grown dinosaur will appear inside the egg. Sounds easy enough. See, you say that, but first you must complete three trials cross the lake of fire, bow to the Patinosaurus Guardian, and win a staring contest with the Stegosaurus. Come on. We don't believe you, Dino Master. Fine. Go see for yourself. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that laugh. It's the laugh I was born with. Listen, you called me! Got it. I think I know the place he's talking about. There's a clearing just north of the Photinosaurus Dome, big enough to hide a spiral walk formation. This is definitely the craziest thing we've ever done. Yeah. <sighs> okay, park rangers, let's take our unhatched egg on a field trip to the mystical dino spiral. Orson. Hey, park rangers. This is park ranger Orson. Well, I guess I'm not officially on duty, so I guess you could call me. On second thought, I still want you to call me park ranger Orson. I thought you were on vacation. I am, but I just wanted to check in and see how things were going. Why? What have you heard? Sorry, uh, what was that? To be honest, I'm uh, pretty bored. So bored, in fact, I was thinking of calling up the Dino Master for a little excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? How ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. Bark Ranger Orson, over and out. I know, I know. But I can't tell them I'm spending my vacation in T-Rex Ranch. They'll think I'm crazy. Want some? I hope we're doing the right thing. Back soon, babies. Asher, you coming? Yeah. Do I need my backpack? Nah, I got mine. Let's go. Okay. You can't be too careful about the lava. This is the Raptor River, but it's been dry a long time. Not much of a fiery lake, if you ask me. <gasps> Wait, it's a Potanosaurus. Is he guarding the path? <laughs> the 
doesn't look like it. Maybe we can just ease on by. The Dino Master said to bow. How about a curtsy? <laughs> Bow it is then. No way we're getting past that guy. <gasps> it's the Stickosaurus staring contest. Leave it to me. I was the staring contest champion of my high school. Eyeballs might have dried out. Whoa! I can't believe the Dino Spiral was real. I can't believe the Dino Master was telling the truth. Yeah, about everything but the Lake of Fire, apparently. Mm, technically, it's not a spiral, it's more like a maze. Let's go! I feel silly doing this. There's no way the adult version of the dino and the egg is going to show up when we put the egg in the center of the spiral. There's just no scientific basis. Eh, at least we're having some quality time together. I knew it. It's another one of Dino Master's tricks. Wait! <gasps> See? It worked. Hang on. Just because a Triceratops happened to show up doesn't mean that there's a baby Triceratops inside the egg. Judge the Dino Master. Still, it's kind of creepy. Here. Let's get a new baby tribe back to the Dino HQ. <sighs> we'll be home soon, little one. Let's go this way. You gotta walk out the same way you walk in. That's just good Dino Spiral manners. Yeah, that makes sense. is real, and the bridge is gone. To be continued. Five years ago. Mm, man, nothing like a sandwich break after patching up the laser fences, huh? Hey, where's your sandwich, Dan? Not hungry. 
but I do have something to show you. Cool mask. What's it do? Oh, nothing much. Just grants the wearer the power to control the mind of any dinosaur they want. Sounds kind of dangerous. Not to mention a little far-fetched. Are you sure it works? Of course. All my inventions work. Okay, lunchtime's over. Oh, wait! Let me try my device first! No can do, park ranger. We gotta drive fast. Right now! Come on, Dan! We'll try it out later! After that, the Dino Master left the ranch and he's been plotting his revenge ever since. All because you didn't let him wear his Dino Master mask? Like, 85% sure. I can't believe it's been five years to the day. A lot of knocks on the door of our secret dinosaur sanctuary lately. And everyone who knows about T-Rex Ranch is in this room. All except one. Who's that? The Dino Master. <gasps> Dino Master? Me? No. I'm Judo Master. Like a martial artist? No. No, just Jude, oh master. You clearly have me confused with my twin brother, Dan. Wait, back up. So the Dino Master's real name is Dan. Oh master. Yes, it's Irish. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I realize it's a it's a humorous name. Okay, Jude. Let's say you really are the Dino Master's twin brother. Why are you here? to share a message on Dan's behalf. There's no hard feelings with the way you treated him. I'm sorry, the way we treated him? Well, surely you remember how it all went down. Dan had brought his favorite sandwich to lunch, Limburger cheese with burnt tomatoes and anchovies. Gotta go, Maisie. But then, stolen right out from under his useless nose. He tragically lost his sense of smell and chow. Dan never thought his fellow park rangers would steal his beloved sandwich. Ooh, smelly. But still they did. Hey Dan! Where's your sandwich? <laughs> Not hungry. So the Dino Master became an evil villain bent on destroying T-Rex Ranch because of a sandwich? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of dramatic, but yes. Anywho, after five years, all he wants is an apology. To show that there's no hard feelings, he offers this gift. Whoa, cool cue. What does it do? Dan said you would know. Bet I can figure it out. I was built by the Dino Master after all, still under warranty. How about you two take the mystery box outside and report back? We'll stay here with Jude. Okay. What should we do first? Press, Press the, the button. button! Wait, what if something bad happens? Like, what if it's a fart box? Ew, what's that? It's a box that makes farts. Aren't you a fart box, Asher? <laughs> okay, let's press it together. But don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> let's point at stuff and see what happens. Good idea. Look, I know sometimes it can be hard to apologize, but in all fairness, you did eat his sandwich. 
I will admit to the sandwich theft, but it was a mistake. And what about all of the awful things that he did to us? Uh, oh, we've all had our little oopsies in the past, right? You who, Rexa, please tell us all the times the Dino Master carried out an evil scheme here at T-Rex Ranch. My pleasure, starting alphabetically with A. Artmark army attack, ant infestation, appetite accelerant for velociraptors, aquarium water in the cooler. Shall I continue? Good for now, thanks. Okay, but tell me this. Weren't some of these schemes in the name of science and discovery? I mean, sure. Those were some very organized aardvarks. I have a question. Can you prove that you're not the Dino Master? Of course. I'll just call him up. No. Ask him to come here. Sure, why not? Triceratops test in three, two, one. Ha! It is a fart box! Let's do it again! Well, maybe it's a coincidence. season. Maybe it's a gift. Let's follow her and find out. Here. I brought a sandwich platter. One of those is my favorite. Limburger cheese with anchovies and burnt tomato slices. So don't eat it. Hmm. Hello, brother. We have seen you here. Sorry you had to come all this way, Dan. They didn't believe me. Still don't, in fact. You mind taking off that mask so we know it's really you under there? Uh, uh, really? I even brought finger sandwiches, not even made out of real fingers, which I could have easily done. Uh, fine. <gasps> Told you. Great, now let's hear each other out. Macy? Dino Master, Dan, I'm sorry I ate your sandwich five years ago. I didn't realize it was yours, but I should have asked. Thank you, Macy. Dino Master? Okay, fine. And I'm sorry I slightly overreacted into becoming an evil supervillain. Proud of you, twin bro. Great. Now let's shake on it and call a truce. Now, for friends of T-Rex Ranch only, how would you like to meet our new baby dinos? Oh, well, it's about time. I, I, I mean, sure. Sounds well. Hey, it's the mystery box. The button is the same color as the eggs. That's probably why the mama Tranodon took the box. Quick. Grab it before she gets back. Sam, look! There's a door! And an egg inside! <gasps> Here goes nothing. Detecting pteranodon egg. We did it! We solved the mystery of the mystery box! <laughs> Gotta go! Get in there, Jude. Well, that's all right. There'll be plenty of time for that later. I gotta hand it to you, Dan. These sandwiches are delicious. Wait, which one did you have? Hmm, tastes like Limburger cheese, burnt tomatoes, and anchovies. Oh no. Not again, not again! Nicey nice truce business was all just a front so you can steal my sandwich again. Unbelievable. But they weren't even labeled. 
That's what the chow team is for. The what? Hey guys, we just found out that. What? What's the Dino Master doing here? Uh, they'll explain later. Cube, please. Sandwich, please. Detecting Limburger cheese, burnt tomato slices, pumpernickel. Huh, cool gadget. I know it is. The chow chamber is a brilliant invention and now it's tainted forever. Sorry, Jude. We'll have to come back another time and steal our baby dino. I'm disgusted by the sight of these sound stealers. You haven't seen the last of the dino master. <laughs> Nice to meet you all. The burnt tomato really complements the smelly cheese. Yeah, Ugh. gross. I know, right?